doesn't mean that you should feel guilty for it. It means to see that the very thing you want, which is love, you are rejecting. And, and you cannot reject love, really. So let's understand love. This morning, um, I, I, I said to Bhagavan, you know, uh, my inner guide, and I said, help me to find the words to explain love. And uh, so I told Sophie, I'm going to stay in bed for a while until, you know, they, they have this, uh, this understanding came to me. And I had a vision. And the vision was this. I'd like you to feel it because it has no words. And this vision was a vortex of energy, a tremendous energy, a very strong energy. And this energy is vibrating. And it's a center of everything that exists. This, this energy is, um, is the center that makes everything possible. Okay, uh, let's talk about the atom. Okay, we know scientifically what an atom is. Now, the atom has a center that keeps it do what it does. And it's called the nucleus of the atom. The electron and the proton. Do you understand? Okay, so the very nucleus of that atom is love. That's what makes the atom do what it does. Another example would be um, the sun. We have a solar system, right? And the sun is the center and the planets move around it. It is this movement that creates the semblance of time. Night and day, summer, winter, autumn, spring, uh, days going by, years going by, weeks going by, but nothing is actually going by, just the movement around the earth. The sun is the center, okay? So love is that center. Everything has a center. The seed has a center within it to create a flower, a plant, a, a gigantic oak tree, you see? The center of you is called the heart, not the physical heart. The core of you, the essence of you. What is the essence of you? Hmm? It is love, yes. Energy. But what is that center of you? Which are, we're talking about love. What is that center of you? Hmm? Stillness. It's awareness. awareness. It's stillness, yes, stillness. but it's awareness. awareness. I am aware, period. I am aware of you, I'm aware of myself. But it has no limit, it has no beginning, it has no end. I am aware that awareness is the center. It is love itself. So you see, the moment you accept something, it brings you here. It brings you to this moment. And the moment you come to this moment, which is the only reality we have, because there's nothing other than this moment, everything happens in this moment. You see? Love flowers. You don't do anything. You begin to transform. The moment you acknowledge the reason why we keep living in the past, not only is because we identify with it, but because we keep saying that this is who I am. So what you're doing is betraying the love that you are, is betraying your very nature every moment that you say, I am this or I am that. You see? Now that betrayal does not mean that you are being bad. Another way of saying it, you're being unaware or you're being unconscious of what is. You see? So the first step, and I, I want to belabor the point here because it's so important, the first important step is to acknowledge everything as it is. God, I hate him. I could wring his neck. Stop. Become aware of this. And I say, there's that feeling of hate right now. Acknowledge it. Don't try to get rid of it. Don't try to fight it. Don't try to deny it. Nothing. There's that feeling. And secondly, just see how that feeling itself is covering up the very love you are, which means you're putting yourself out of alignment with the universe. Do you understand? Because if love is the very center of everything that exists, the moment you are not loving, you are out of alignment, you are out of sync with what is. Did you ever have a day when everything goes wrong? You drop things, you get angry, you get, you get, you know, everything seems to go wrong. Okay, that's because at that moment there was no love in you. You're frustrated with yourself, you're angry at yourself. So at that moment, everything starts to go wrong. 
But things are not really going wrong. It is just that you're out of alignment with the center. You see? You're not in alignment with it. So you need to get back in alignment. And as you keep allowing it, that's what forgiveness is. You see how profound it is? So every time that you allow yourself to get back into that center, you begin to live more and more from that center until it becomes so natural that you'll wonder how you could have lived before like you did. <clears throat> Truly. You, you, it's, it's, a, it's a miracle when you look back and you say, my God, I used to live like that. Thinking negatively, thinking vi like a victim, getting offended, getting hurt, fighting, thinking this, thinking that. I was insane. But you don't, this doesn't happen to you until you begin to see that all we can ever be is in alignment with what is. With what is means there's no right or wrong, good or bad. That is the beauty of life. Everything is one. Everything is one. So that means if everything is one, black and white are one. And you will see that black and white are one. Because if everything was white, you'd be blind. If everything was black, you'd be blind. Put them together and you can read black and white. You can see shadows. An artist draws because he can see shadows. You see what I mean? Opposites are needed. So therefore the negative and the positive are needed. Because the negative is the capacity to understand that which is positive. And the positive shows you that which is higher than positive and negative. That which is all-encompassing. Like the Course says. The opposite of love is fear. But that which is all-encompassing can have no opposite. You see? So we will see that when we bring them together, we will we'll go to that point that has no opposite at all. This means that if you're feeling any negativity in you, any fear in you, any animosity in you, you acknowledge it without shame, without guilt for having it. If you feel guilt, in other words, don't feel guilty for feeling guilty. If you're angry, don't be angry for being angry. That's what we do. Just accept the fact that there is anger. Okay. Even smile. The moment you acknowledge it, there is a force inside you. This force, we can call it God, we can call it love, we can call it awareness, we can call it life itself. The center comes and supports you. The moment you acknowledge the truth as it is without, without seeing it as bad or good. Because the universe is good. The universe is love. See, very few people say, oh, gee, what, what is happening now, especially in the States with the Bush administration, you know, the world is going to pieces, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, on the ego level, this is happening, yes. But, that, that's, but it's, that's not life. That's man's mind, you see. The truth in the very process of life, watch a flower, watch the birth of a baby. What creates... a, a, a makes a fetus become a human being in the womb of the mother. The center, the center which is found in the sperm that gives it that DNA, that very memory and the intelligence eventually, the spirit that comes alive in it after the, bo the body is formed to make a living human being. <clears throat> it is that center which is the love that we always go out of alignment the moment we try to fight, resist, control a negative. It simply doesn't work. You see? So, um, so now we go into the third one. Now, we, first we acknowledge what is as it is. Number two, we see from what we've done, give it a few seconds, be aware that you don't have to follow these steps one by one. This, is, this all happens at once, okay? Once you have the understanding of forgiveness. But I have to name them one after the other to give it more understanding. So the second one is to get the feeling that, yeah, as long as I'm identifying with this feeling, and it's not wrong or right, it's just happened, I am suppressing the very love that I want. I'm not in alignment with life. I am out of sync. I'm out of the picture. I am not being myself. 